Guys, today we're going to take an up close on foot look and I'm going to review the clock times Adidas Superstar by Edison Chen. I'm going to tell you everything there is to know about the shoe from how it fits to sizing, how to style it, price point. We're going to get into a little bit of the history of the shoe as well. So stay tuned watch the end and before we do go on let me know what you think of the shoe in the comments below news broke that edison chen who founded clock in 2003 who's been around since like 2000 may i add would be ending his long-term partnership with nike they've been collaborating for a very long time they've had things like the air max one kiss of death they've had a the Air Force One, they've had a lot of collaborations throughout the years. They recently had the dunk as well. So to hear that Edison Chen was leaving Nike, leaving, why is everyone leaving Nike? Nigo left Nike. Edison Chen is leaving Nike. Edison Chen has left Nike, should I say. Everyone seems to be leaving Nike and looking for ventures elsewhere. I'm sure there's a few more I can't think of off the top of my head. But everyone seems to be leaving Nike and moving on to other brands. And with Adidas kind of taking over the world right now, especially with their Samba silhouette, could we see a clock Samba coming up sometime soon? We already saw the jowned one. I mean, it's not crazy. Let's get onto the shoe and the actual materials in itself, because as I said, it is a very interesting shoe. And the way they've put it together, the way Edison Chen, Clot, and Adidas have constructed this shoe, it's worth going through it bit by bit and actually breaking it down and explaining everything that's gone into this silhouette so the first thing you'll notice is that it's been tooled with a shiny patent leather upper and again because they're straddling that line between streetwear and formal wear in the form of loafers and sneakers it kind of goes perfectly when you think about it because obviously loafers are leather patent leather usually as well so that for me is one thing they've done really well i think if they would put any other leather on here it wouldn't not work but this kind of takes it up just a little bit. You've got these nice laces, quite thick, typical of the Adidas Superstar, but they do feel a little bit more premium. You also got three stripes serrated detailing on the inside and the outside sidewall in white. They've taken out the original shell toe and they've equipped it with this crazy premium leather shell toe that it's just unseen before. So you've got a patent leather shell toe as opposed to the rubber one that we're used to seeing on the Superstar. It definitely, as I said, and I'm going to keep saying it, makes it feel so much more premium. And obviously, it's a sneaker initially, so it's not really supposed to be that premium. But what they've done to the Adidas Superstar is just convert it to something else altogether. Moving on, and you've also got this tassel detailing just above the laces. Again, they're tying it back into that formal streetwear, and I think they do it really well. I think they're really hit the mark on this one. You also see Adidas tree fold detailing as well as the clock logo on the tongue. And again, it's a leather tongue covered in that patent leather with like a serrated edge makes it feel, you know what I'm going to say, very premium. You've got the same branding on the inside, on the inner sole. It's like, it's a kind of padded inner sole. Again, it's very premium. It's a very luxurious feeling inner sole. I think it's all leather. So that definitely helps and it will be comfortable over if you're wearing them for long periods of time. Moving lower down the shoe and you've got this leather stitched mud guard. Again, it only adds to the premium feel of it. And I haven't got another synonym for premium. So if you do, let me know in the comments below. But I just love what they've done with the shoes. You've got the mud guard, you've got the wedge in the midsole with the white stripe detailing, and then you've got a really toothy outsole on the foot. And that also has the Adidas logo imprinted in the middle of it as well. You've also got this super soft leather lining on the inside, which again, makes it feel super comfortable on foot. And I'm gonna let you know exactly how it feels on foot shortly. Either way, the details of the shoe are immaculate and I haven't seen anything like this for some time. I always love when brands think outside of the box and they do something differently. And this collaboration, despite the fact it might not be as hype as some of the other ones, I think they've hit the mark 10 out of 10 for creativity on this. Let me know what you think about the release in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the style and let me know if you'd wear them. Now, because of the fact that they are equipped and tooled with this quite hard patent leather, when you put them on, they do feel very snug, but something because they are leather, you will break into them, but they do feel very snug. And I imagine similar to how it would feel if you put a shoe on for the very first time, you will need to break these in first so that you're ready to go outside and wear them for long periods of time. I would actually probably build up to wearing them for a whole day. So I'd start with maybe an hour or two locally and then work my way to longer periods of time because I do feel like they will, they will hurt, <laughs> they will hurt after a while. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. 
I feel like they will become uncomfortable. And the tongue being serrated has a tendency to dig into your shin. So I would wear thick socks. And again, like I said, I would work up your tolerance in wearing these because the last thing you want to do is wear them out for a full day and then realize, ow, like I've got blisters and this, that, and the other. But in saying all of that, I'm not trying to put them down. They are quite comfortable. Uh, I wasn't expecting them to actually fit because usually in Adidas, I'm a size up. So if you're looking to know how they fit, I would get your usual size. I'm a UK 11, so I got these in the UK 11 and they fit perfectly. I would advise you do the same. I would not size down on these just because they are snug in my actual size. So if you size down, they're probably gonna feel like, I don't know, you're wearing something that's too small basically. So yeah, get, go for your size and these and you, sh you, you won't regret it. I also do have room to do this with my toes, which is obviously a good sign. Shout out this. So I do think, they will be comfortable. You just have to break them in first because it is leather. Although it's soft and premium feeling, it's still quite rigid in the fact that it is leather and it is good leather and good leather is always quite rigid. So yes, I would advise if you're gonna buy them, buy them in your size and just make sure you wear them in your house first for a couple of hours before you wear them out, just so you know what you're getting yourself into. Overall for comfort and feel on foot, I'd give them a seven out of 10. So now that we've gone through the details of the shoe as well as sizing, it's time to tell you where to buy it from. So I managed to get these from end launches on launch day. I was quite surprised that I actually won anything to be honest. And these set me back around 170 pounds or 171 plus a couple of pounds for uh, postage or packaging. However, you can pick them up in the region of around 200 to 250 on StockX. Are we still using StockX? Places like eBay, Go, and things like that. So not too much more than the retail price. If you are looking for some, you can pick them up relatively easy. There's a lot available. However, if I do find any from retailers, I will drop the links in the description below. So make sure you have a look at that. If there's none there, then unfortunately I couldn't find any, but I tried. So given the fact that they are very different from your usual offering from Adidas or Adidas, depending on whether you or not you wear sneakers or shoes or you know what your individual style is, given the fact that they are very different, they might be a bit difficult to style. If it were me, I definitely see these being styled with like a pair of smart trousers and a shirt or a t-shirt, something like that. Just a little bit more like, I suppose, smart casual. These are definitely more for a smart casual occasion. So like, like I said, pleated trousers, pleated shorts. I probably wouldn't wear them with joggers, but you can if you want. Let me know how you would style them in the comments below. I don't know about cargos either, but yeah, let me know how you would style them in the comments below. I'm thinking very much more of a smart casual fit from trousers some shorts some chinos, even some like open hem wide leg trousers, I think would drop nicely but let me know what you think in the comments and let me know more importantly, how you style them at home. So that about sums up the review of the Clot Adidas Superstar by Edison Chen. Let me know your thoughts on the shoe in the comments below. Let me know whether you're looking to buy a pair, whether you're thinking about buying a pair. And let me know what you'd like to see Clot collaborate with Adidas on next now that they have left Nike for good. Is it the Samba? Is it something else? Drop me a comment below and let me know. And I will see you next time for another video. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Drop me a comment as well. And if you haven't finished yet, go and check out what they've got on offer in Paris because I hit Paris up at the start of the year. And I'm telling you, sneaker shopping there, next level. Go check it out and I'll see you next time. Peace.